Hey guys, this is Nigel from Fukuoka, Japan, and today I'm really, really excited to show you something that I've been working on for about a week now. And here it is. It is the ultimate vlog travel system for GoPro and DSLRs. If you need a system where you can mount your GoPro, you can do your iPhone up above, and this is multi-changeable, so don't worry, you don't have to stay stuck in this position. You've also got your external microphone. Right now, I have a light over here, which is being used for this video, but what I like to do is I can put my light up above here, and then I can move my microphone over to here. You know, you've got lots of different ways you could do it. And this whole system is completely releasable, so all I gotta do is just undo this clip here, take this off, and boom, I'm now portable, I'm filming, I'm doing lots of cool action shots. I can take this camera, has a mount down below, and just mount it onto there. So if I wanna get some cool time lapse, I can use this here. Um, you know, if you wanna get some nice still shots. You can also just go right back into it again, tighten it up, and you're good to go. Now I'm gonna show you, um, the next part of this video is gonna be two parts. The first one is gonna be the parts that you need. It's gonna cost you about 30 to $40, I believe, and I'll give you all the links in Amazon that you'll need. And then the last part of the video is some of the cool ideas and shots that you can use this for. All right, enough of my jambering. Let's get on to how you can make this ultimate system for your travel needs. Okay, first thing you are going to need is a shoe bracket mount. I'm gonna put a link right there. You're gonna see that on Amazon right there. Um, the shoe bracket looks something like that. All you gotta do is, um, you're gonna need a mount for GoPro that allows you to mount cameras. So what you do is just take the mount and screw it on here like so. Okay, there you have it. Boom, you can now mount a GoPro on a camera mount. Next thing you need, just the basic GoPro joint. I found the curved one to be a little bit better. It gives me a little bit more curvature. I found that if it was flat, it was a little more difficult. So if you're a GoPro person, that's the one you're gonna be needing. So the mount has been added, and what you need next is the dual mount for GoPro. As you can see here, it enables you to add an iPhone and a GoPro, and even with the tripod itself, it's a complete system. But the most important thing is this little triple connector thing. This is what set it off for me, and once I saw this, I just went berserk, okay? So here's what you do. You got your camera mount. Just take one of these simple little GoPro uh, mount things. You got one. This will allow you to swivel forward and back if you need to. Okay, so you got this little swivel here like so. Take another one. And now you have the ability to go forward, back, tilt, left, and right. Okay, now, oh, big, big props, big props to this little gadget. Man, I freaking used to never use one of these things from GoPro, absolutely love it. Just go up to the bolt and give it a, you know, a good tightening. Um, it's kind of difficult to do it by hand, I find, so I would totally recommend um, using one of these and just keeping it in your camera bag if you can. Okay, so basically, that's what we look like so far. Okay. Now it's time to get this middle bracket in. Place it in. Put in your GoPro screw system there. And there you have it. You can now even go forward and back if you want to. But so far, that's what we're looking like. Okay, again from the same company who I bought the mount from. It comes with one of these one, two bracket things. Just place that in there like so. Give it a little tighten. If you want, you know, you can get this really strong because this is where your iPhone's gonna be. Depending if you have, you know, an iPhone 6 Plus, it gets pretty heavy. 
And then with the cam kicks, uh, I was really, really stoked to see this little gadget. This is um, basically how you get the uh, bracket for your camera onto here. So that just goes on there like so. Just place the uh, bolt on, give it a quick little tighten, take this bracket, and you are good to go. You can adjust it like that. You can adjust it like this. You know, you have lots of different options uh, depending on how you want to mount your camera. Even over here, you can see there's a bolt over here also. So again, you could bolt it on here and do some, you know, another different way of mounting it. Sky's the limit on this one, guys. We need to get the GoPro on. I would tighten this up more, but at this point you can basically see what it looks like. Okay. Again, at this point you might want to start tightening up things depending on how you want this to look and how you want things. Again, from the same company of the Cam Kicks, when you got your kit, you also get this cool little tripod mount. And I like this because if you just push this little uh, button here you can actually move this around so you have full control if you want to do selfies and different things and then all you got to do is just put it over to the left and it locks it pretty damn good okay so what you're going to need is a heavy duty photography camera tripod ball head 360 degree fluid rotation and this is what makes the whole system awesome and i'm going to show you why later on Okay, so you just take this little sucker, go up to it, and screw it on, like so. Okay, and we are on, we are good to go. There you go, the tripod is done. Okay, when you buy the uh, heavy duty camera tripod mount thing, you get one of these quick release mounts. I just put a little washer in there to make it nice and tight, and then you just go up to it, take a little uh, coin there, and go around a few times until it gets nice and tight. And yeah, I want it like that, perfect. Just tighten it up and then you're good to go. Just some final things I'm gonna be doing is just you know tightening up all the different parts in here to where I want it. Um, you know, sometimes when you're shooting with GoPro, you, you like to have your phone you know, more towards you, you like to have it more up here, uh, especially if you're doing low angle shots. So, uh, you know, once you get it right, you might, you might want to just use your hand, something like that. But uh, this little thing, absolutely love it. And then all you got to do is just take your microphone, give it a little tightening, and put in all of your wiring. Uh, by the way, I'm using the iGo mic. Looks something like this. And uh, the mounting system for it's not that good, but uh, I like to put it on the shoe mount much, much better. And then with the GoPro wire here, I'm just gonna sort of wire this or loop it around the different, um, the different knobs and whatnot. And then uh, that way it's kind of out of the way. You could probably use some type of uh, black wiring or some type of tape or something, you know, something like that. You know, I'll figure out better ways of doing this in the future. It's pretty easy. And don't forget on your other camera, you have it over here. You can simply just go up to the system, give it a quick little release, put your camera down here, and you can put on your secondary camera like so. Pick it up and do lots of cool photography. I think it's time to show you some different ways you can film with this. I've got some really neat ideas. And uh, let's move on to the third part of this video. Pan left to right. Smooth ass. Number two, free gimbal. Number three, the selfie.
Hey guys, this is Nigel, and today I've got an exciting new video for you. Let's go! Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great time. Let's keep going. Yeah! Number four, unmount and go. Hey, what's that over there? Let's go! Woohoo! Down and up. Number seven, 360 degree turning. For this one, you should be below the camera and get a really cool shot of the beach or the trees. Number eight, shooting with an LED light attached to the shoe bar. Hey guys, this is Nigel and I'm in some scary jungle right now. Whoa! Number nine, shooting some really cool low angle shots. And number 10, change the camera. Selfie! Okay guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was actually pretty hard to make. I mean, I had to completely take everything down and put it all back up together. Um, you know, it wasn't perfect, but I did my best with this one. And uh, there you have it. A really cool little travel system. Lots of different options. I expect you guys to come up with your own ideas and completely revamp this, make it better, make it cooler. You know, this has only been used for about a week or 10 days or so, and I'm on my way to Canada next week, and I'm gonna be doing daily vlogs. So I really wanted something where I could just pick it up, go, do some time lapse, change to this camera, take this off, put this on, got a tripod. You know, I've got lots of options. It's small, it's portable. I got my iPhone, I got my external mic, I've got a night light, you know, when we're with the boys and we're doing some cool night shots. And it's totally versatile. I think you're going to like it. If you have any comments, suggestions, please leave them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.